Here is how you use Apple Intelligence on your iPhone. But first, hit the like and subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So with Apple Intelligence, Apple have made this extremely confusing, but I'll try and break it down for you. So the requirements you need to meet is you need to have iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, or any model of iPhone 16, and the future iPhones will get Apple intelligence. Second, your software, if we go to general and about, needs to be the iOS version 18.1 or newer. And so if I go to the about on this iPhone, I'm on the 18.0, you know, that's not supported, iOS 18.0.1 is not supported, so you need to go to iOS 18.1. If you need to update, you just head to your software update setting and look for the 18.1 update. And then you update to it. Now the problem is, and there's many problems, now the problem is iOS 18.1 is in beta. So while iOS 18.0 has released today, Apple Intelligence is for iOS 18.1, which isn't even out yet. But you can get the beta now. You just need to tap on beta updates and select the developer beta here. You get the beta updates toggle by watching the uh, YouTube video I have in the description. You know, it takes 30 seconds. You just head to developer.apple.com. You sign in. You know, this is Apple's website, free to do, safe. And then you can get the iOS 18.1 beta. Now, even after you are on iOS 18.1, there's more requirements you need to meet. So Apple Intelligence currently is only available in the United States. It will release in the UK officially in December 2024. Any other country, you have to wait until mid 2025 and even 2026 in order to get the Apple Intelligence officially. So, with that in mind, let's try and turn on Apple Intelligence, even if we're not in the US or UK. So we'll open settings, and then we'll look for Apple Intelligence and Siri. And you need to look for an option to apply or turn it on. So on my iPhone on the right, I was able to apply and turn it on. But on the left, I cannot turn it on. And so here's where things get confusing. If you can't turn on Apple Intelligence, I'll cover a workaround. But even if you can't, you turn it on in settings, some of the features do work. So the cleanup feature, which is an AI feature, if I go in here, this is the AI cleanup, this one is working. You know, other AI, other, you know, Apple Intelligence features, they do actually work. It's just you don't get the Apple Intelligence Siri. Now on the right here, I have the Apple Intelligence Siri, you know, all that good stuff. I have all the other AI features. And this was with a workaround I did. So there's two workarounds you can do. The first one is from your home page settings, you're gonna select general, and then we'll scroll down and select the language and region. And so we want to select region to United States. If you do this, and you know, I kind of recommend you do this on a spare iPhone if you have one, is because this will make it so Apple Pay stops working. If you change your region back, the Apple Pay will start working. So it's not you know, the end of the world. Once you change your region here, you head into Apple Intelligence again, and you have to change your Siri language to English US. Now, on this iPhone, I had the option to apply and turn on Apple Intelligence immediately after doing those changes. However, on my personal iPhone, that was not enough. This is because if your Apple ID account has a payment method, which is set to your home country, then you have to create a new Apple ID. You have to sign out of your iCloud. This is extremely inconvenient. I'll cover how to do it, but I'd recommend you only do this if you have a spare iPhone. So what will you do? is we'll open up our web browser and we'll head to the appleid.apple.com website. We'll then tap the line at the top and we'll select create Apple ID. 
So we will create a new Apple ID with country or region in the United States and also make sure under phone number, you use your real phone number so you can actually sign into the Apple ID account. So you go through here and when it asks for address, you need to search for fake address generator US, select the fake address generator and put in the United States fake address. Once your Apple ID is created, we will open settings and we'll head into our Apple account and then we'll scroll to the bottom and select sign out. And so we actually need to sign out of our iCloud. Now your data you know, remains in iCloud. However, it will be deleted from the phone. I would carefully look at, you know, your photos, stuff like that. What do you not want to have to, you know, reinstall? If there's stuff that you are unhappy with, you know, you, you don't want to lose the data, then just don't bother signing out. Okay, you just have to go about the Apple intelligence. But if you don't care, you sign out and then you sign back in with that new Apple ID you created. Now, once that's done, you'll get the Apple intelligence apply option in your settings. If you don't want to create a new Apple ID, alternatively, you can open App Store and change your country or region through here. So you tap your name at the top right, you tap your Apple ID, it will bring you to the settings. You tap on country or region, and then it will let you change it. But it doesn't let you change the country or region if you have a payment method or if you have an active subscription. This is why I recommend creating the new Apple ID. I've created a new Apple ID you know, for this video. My personal iPhone has my personal Apple ID and the spare iPhone you know, has my other Apple ID. I know this is confusing. This should be simple. This is not Apple-like. However, Apple has made this confusing. I hope this video you know, makes it so that you understand whether or not you can use Apple intelligence, as not everyone can actually use this right now.